All right, here's the deal. Following our latest tech update, catch one of the most insightful calls from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. We all know about the Joe Biden deepfake robocalls, thousands of them going out to New Hampshire voters telling them to stay home on primary day. Last week, the FCC banned these kinds of calls, just like they've banned billions of robocalls over the last three decades. Despite promise after promise, nobody has been able to stop the robocalls. The New Hampshire deepfake calls amounted to nothing more than an oddity, the voice sounding a lot like Joe Biden, telling voters to stay home, an attempt to suppress the Trump vote. It didn't work. Yet this past Thursday, the FCC passed even more rules to stop all further AI voice-generated robocalls. And here's what we can do with this new ruling. Stack it up on top of the pile of state and federal rules and laws that have been enacted over the past 30 years. Then let's see if one more will truly make a difference. Join a half a million folks who get my free newsletter at GetKim.com. Okay, as promised, here's a standout call for my show. Uh, Kevin in Portland, Oregon. Hi there, Kevin. Well, hello, Kim Commando. Thanks for taking my call. You betcha. Hey, I just want to say I'm a huge fan of the show and the newsletter and the podcast, especially your Friday show, but we really need to get the lesser half of the ATM on board with your newsletters. <laughs> oh, I know. We do, don't we, Andrew? we got to get them signed up. Hey, some big news about the podcast is yeah. that starting in January, um, Andrew and I are going to be doing a podcast every single day. Just like that Friday format, because everybody seems to love our Friday podcast. So I do. That's great. That's great news. And, you know, although I'm one of your greatest simps, I promise I'm never going to ask you for (laughs) photos of your feet. I promise. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. I know you're a simp. Hey, I didn't you win a cap. I did not. All right. Well, I think you did just now. So hold on when we after we get done chatting. Uh, give Amber your name and address, uh, your full name and address, rather, and then we'll send you out an official show cap. So this way you can truly be a simp as you're walking around Portland. Awesome. Thank so you, what's going on? So I'm quite an introvert, and I love spending time out in the mountains of the forest of Oregon, and there's no cell phone coverage there. So I use an old-school GPS, and I have for many years for two main reasons. Number one, I have a horrible sense of direction. People tell me it's so bad I can get lost on an airplane. Oh, no. (laughs) Number two, my my wife of 37 years, who gladly tells me where to go all the time, doesn't enjoy bouncing around next to me in my Jeep during these excursions. So my GPS, I, I have been able to update it periodically, and then I no longer can. Every time I try and update it, it says it doesn't have sufficient memory uh, to, to provide the updates. So before I buy a new GPS, my question for you was, are there any recent iPhones that have the ability to use truly G, uh, satellite GPS, maybe on downloaded maps? Well, what you can do is on your phone, whether on Google Maps or Apple Maps, is that you can go ahead and select the area that you're going to be navigating around. Then you can download all the apps to use in offline mode. Uh, And so this way you don't even need any cellular data or satellite connection in order for you to see the maps. And so you can follow along that way. Um, There are also some, I was just thinking when you said like, you know, take in your Jeep. Um, Have you ever used the app All Trails? Uh, yes, I have. Because some of those maps, I think like 99% of them, that you can also use in offline use. And so that's basically what it means. It's offline is that you're going to download the maps in advance wherever you're going to be heading out. And then wherever you're going to be hanging out, you're going to download them before you leave, obviously, so that wherever you get where you're going, you're just going to pop up that. Now, there are satellite GPSs. Uh, there are some satellite tools that you also might want to take with you. Like the brand new iPhone 15 and as well as the 14, it has SOS mode. So just in case you get stuck in a place where you flip the Jeep or whatever it may be, uh, is that that might be a safety tool. (laughs) That might be a safety tool for you as well, because if you can't call 911, it's going to automatically use satellite connections to give your longitude and latitude to the local emergency response team. And that makes sense. And which models of iPhones is that available the, uh, on? The 14 and 15. 14 being last okay. year's model, 15 being this year's model. Uh, I had the 14 and I brought and I purchased the 15 and I put them side by side and they look the same to me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I, I think you'd probably call it a 14.1 maybe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And I'm, and I'm sitting there going like, oh my gosh, I just wasted like 1500 bucks. But then I'm like, okay, well, this is my job. So yeah, I have to do that. <laughs> 
So, you know, so try the okay. try the offline maps. I think you're really going to like that. And since you're already familiar with the all trails, um, you know, download the trail maps for offline use there. Good for not only driving, but also hiking trails. And take a look at that iPhone 14, 15. If you don't want that, there's also something called the Spot Satellite, and Garmin has a tool as well. Spot Satellite is just what it is. It's about the size of the palm of your hand. And then you can also give uh, instructions for emergency responder, you get stuck in a tight space as well. Now, Kevin, because you're a simp, don't forget, hang on the line. Amber's going to get your name and address, and we're going to send you out an official Kim Commando Show ball cap. And thanks for all your kind words about the pods and the newsletters and good things like that. Oh, big hugs for listening. Now, if you have a tech pickle that you want me to sort out, head over to commando.com and hit that email Kim button. I sift through every single email you send my way. Now, if you want the lowdown on the digital world every single day in your inbox, head over to getkim.com and just sign up for my free daily newsletter. You're going to love it.